Hello everyone and welcome. In this video, we'll see how to properly optimize your product for SEO using the page title, description, and URL. This is what it should look like, the end result. Page title, including obviously the, the, the product name, a little bit of, of keywords, and your, uh, your business uh, name. You have your, your description and URL, again, the product name, a little bit of keywords, and uh, optional if you want to have the um, business name. So let's see how we should do this. So here we have a product that is not fully optimized. We have, let's just go click over here, edit website SEO. We have just the standard title and a description and a really, really standard URL. Um, description from what I can see, it's, it's okay. Um, we have an interesting description, some keywords, style, shape, uh, TV shape, frame. So this, uh, this I think I will keep. I don't need to, to add more than that or redo it. I just changed the, the point there. Um, for the title, as we said, we want to add the, the business name at the end. Um, it's a good habit to have uh, to have a list of keywords to use. So I'm just going to take the business name and put it here. So in this case, um, because it's, it's pay, pages of products, uh, we're most probably going to use keywords related to uh, to the product in question. Um, so let's just go take a look really quick at the description. Um, TV shape, TVR for everyone, British eyewear designer. Okay. Um, so in this case, I will just use maybe uh, the, the, the TV shape frame added right here. And that should be good enough um, because we only have seven characters left extra um, so we can we can play with that in this case we will want to to change the URL because it's really really um, small short so let's let's add a few keywords um, like TV shape frame Let's add popular. I will add style here. <clears throat> and um, I saw something interesting. This British eyewear designer. So you have to think in a way um, to choosing your keywords, what, uh, what someone may, may search for in Google, um, may type and may be interested in. Um, again, don't overdo it. Search something that is specific to the product in question or, um, or your business. And uh, as much as possible, try to have unique titles, unique description, and unique URLs. Uh, as you can see in this case, I'm not gonna add uh, the, the brand name. I don't like to repeat it too often. Uh, in the title is okay, uh, but in the URL, I would like to avoid putting in on each and every single product. Um, that's my personal uh, input and opinion. You can, you can add it if you want on, uh, on your site. So um, now I have this. Again, it's good to keep track of what you're doing. You have your keywords. It's good to have a product page also in Excel. 
to know what uh, what you did what you changed so this is my title description like this in the future if you want to do some changes you want to see what you changed in the past you can always keep track this way uh, and create pages to uh, multiple pages in, in Excel to, to track it so this is it don't forget to uh, to save it it's it, it's really important for you uh, to, to do it do it properly you can see here how it will show on Google uh, so if I see something like this uh, I will click on it um, put yourself in your in, in your customer position or future customer position and uh, make it interesting for them don't overdo it don't always think about Google um, make it good for both uh, meaning of a visitor and uh, for Google bots as usual if you have any questions please use the comments below the video and uh, you can also subscribe to my channel I'm releasing new videos each week you can always ask me any questions um, on Twitter on on on, on Skype send me an email whatever use the comments I will answer them that's it thank you